I'm a hard-working, tax-paying, kid-raising, church-going citizen of this country, and if I work hard all day long, want to go home and relax with the joint, that is my civil liberty. What is your interest in Hempfest? You're a regular here. Uh, what, why do you come every year? Well, I just think marijuana should not be criminal. I'm not here to promote marijuana. I just think it's a civil liberty if people want to use it. There really is a matter of principle about this. And uh, I thought about it, and I thought, I am really into travel. You know, I'm a travel writer. I've spent a third of my adult life just traveling. I just love going places. And to me, high is a place. And I really treasure that. And when I want to go there, I want to go there. I, I don't need my government to give me a passport for that place. I started speaking out when it was pretty scary, and I spoke out because a lot of people agree with this, and we're tired of the United States embracing just one more ridiculous lie, and I could speak out with no risk of uh, being voted out of office or losing my job because nobody needs to vote for me and I'm self-employed. So, Has, has that. your pro-legalization position, has it affected your public uh, personality or your audience at all? Uh, I don't really pay much attention to that. I just do what I think is true, and this is a matter of truth. I, you know, I get a lot of people that read about what I think about marijuana, and they say, I know what you think about pot, and we're not going to use your guidebooks anymore, and we're not going to take any of your Europe tours. And all I can think is Europe's going to be more fun without you, all right? <laughs> What's the best country for dealing with uh, marijuana at this point? Well, I don't know what the best country for dealing with marijuana is, but what I try to do is inject a, a European uh, sensibility into the discussion here in the United States. Europe has its drug problems just like we have our drug problems, and you can abuse marijuana. You can, you know, you, a lot of people uh, argue it's addictive. Um, certainly not for kids. Anybody who's driving intoxicated by anything should have the book thrown at them. These are just common sense, sort of how you live in a community. But in Europe, they take the crime out of the situation. They take the violence and the money out of it, and they treat it as a health problem and an education challenge. Ten years ago in Portugal, they decided to legalize the consumption of all drugs. All drugs. And I just interviewed the, uh, their drug czar who wrote that law for my radio show. And uh, you can see it on my website if you ever want to hear it. But uh, they said after 10 years now, they have done a review of the effectiveness. Because it was a little scary, you know, to legalize the consumption of all drugs. And they've decided after 10 years, even people who were opposed to it, that use has not gone up. They took the crime out of the equation, and now they can deal with it in a smart, pragmatic, harm reduction kind of way. Pretty good. What they've done is they've made marijuana boring. It's no longer quite so sexy, you know, and it's just there for people who want it. It's really quite amazing. Now, a lot of Americans think there's a whole reservoir of people out there that would just love to ruin their lives by smoking pot if only it was legal. These people are clueless. Anybody who wants to smoke pot, I think, does. And they just have to be criminals to do it. And I'm convinced if you legalized marijuana tomorrow in, in, in Washington state, use might spike a little bit, it would settle back down to about where it is today, and uh, it would just be a non-issue. That's what it is in Europe, a non-issue. No, we're not talking pro-drugs here, we're talking civil liberty. If somebody wants to smoke pot in a mature adult way, just recreational, I believe that's a civil liberty. Now, you know, if you're going to smoke pot and go drive your car and, and hurt somebody, that's not a civil liberty. Uh, so. Uh, the main thing is that uh, there's 800,000 people arrested every year in our country for simple marijuana possession. Now these aren't rich white guys, these are poor people and black people and people who don't really can't handle a bump in the road like that. For the rest of their lives they've got a record, a criminal record, and uh, that's a real tragic thing for our society. There are so many reasons to get smart about marijuana laws. I'm not saying be soft on drugs or hard on drugs. We need to be smart on drugs like the Europeans are. It's not an easy thing. Drug, drug abuse is a serious problem, but we can do better here in the United States. And to me, that's very exciting. And a very good starting point is what we're doing right here at Hempfest, raising awareness of the fact that marijuana should not be illegal. <laughs>